Let's talk Walking Dead, guys. Here we are. Woo! Woo! Happy Comic Con. That's the way. Happy Comic Con to you guys. Comic Con. Good to have you guys back Thank here. Thank you for having us. Uh, how's it going? What's the? What, what, are you okay here? <laughs> are you t are you tethering just, yourself? You guys, there's just so much cord. <laughs> <laughs> It's so in case you want to dance around. Yeah. yeah. You got I mean, room. Where am I going? We saw your rider. You need like 18 <laughs> feet of cord. <course. laughs> yeah. It's a very specific rider. Put Green rocks in skills. my pockets so I don't move. <laughs> exactly. What are the do's and don'ts of surviving Comic Con for you guys at this point? How do you, what's the attitude going in? How do you know, how do you ensure a prosperous, happy Comic Con? It's kind of a crapshoot, really. <laughs> you know, you just don't know. Uh, Coca Cola for me is a must have. <laughs> And things. boo, Pepsi. <laughs> For you? You can't say that. Can you say I, that? I said it. I, <laughs> so I came out and Pepsi. I was like, oh, Rebel. shoot. You gotta just go with it. It's all good. Jeez, what's wrong with that? <laughs> I just want a Pepsi guy. It makes me angry. <laughs> I don't We're not know. gonna get any free Pepsis for the rest of the day. Bummer. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 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 yeah. What was the question? I don't even know. Uh, surviving Comic Con, enjoying Comic Con, do's and don'ts for the newbies out there. What's the? You know, we I haven't been to the floor in two years, so I, I don't know what the floor is like. I know that you should not walk around the floor with Robert Kirkman, <laughs> because he gets chased everywhere. He's got a crowd around him. Um, I think they probably care about you a little bit too. Maybe. I, I, first time I did it was with him, and it was it was overwhelming. Um, but the. Uh, I, I, I don't know, you know. Uh, we, we, I want to thank Triumph Motorcycles for letting us borrow two motorcycles oh, while we're here. Oh, that was fantastic. Thank you, Triumph. What did you guys do? You were... We went to Tijuana. We went Mexico. to someplace called Old Town. We just rode around and got like Mexican food. It was yeah. awesome. Yeah. Hey, this was a couple years ago? This was... No, this year. You went to Tijuana before Comic-Con? Yeah. We During came Comic -Con. in a day early on Can yeah, I get Thursday. Thursday next year? I want to go to it Tijuana before Comic-Con. We got yeah. some awesome ponchos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wore one on Conan. Amazing. Uh, yeah, the ponchos are dope. We've been wearing them around our hotel. I that's a it. that's a yeah. must have for the survival kit. Yeah, poncho. A poncho. A poncho, yeah, yeah. Poncho. Yeah, yeah. Ponchos. Yeah, yeah. Are... Uh, <laughs> the food's way better if you head south. Yeah. yeah. Huevos Rancheros, and then we found a street tacos place that I totally recommend. IV in, Tacos in, in, in Imperial Beach. Beach. Right, with yeah. a good tall glass of Pepsi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's talk Walking Dead. <laughs> Right at Walking Dead. You guys are still on the show, I believe, right? You guys are still around. By the no. <laughs> by the I mean, you never know. Depending on the day, you hear different things, different people. No. But you guys are still around. We're very happy about that. Um, it seems like you know this is a show built on change. It's just the nature of the show. But that being said, even by those standards, this year seems to be a big year of change for the show. Is that? Is that it's feel a right? huge year of change for the show. You know, um, the show has a whole. I mean, it's the same story with different stories in it, but it, I mean, in the same world, different stories in the same world, but it's, the vibe of the show is different. Angela Kang is killing it as our showrunner. Uh, she's always been my favorite writer on the show. Mm. I've said it since she showed up. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a train that's being driven by women. Like, the stories have more depth. Uh, there's, you know, it's, it, this all-out war thing is not happening anymore. It's, it's internal, it's, it's, uh, I, I've done scenes this season that I, I'm more proud of than I've done in five years. Amazing. But I, I mean, our crew, I've, I've seen him do scenes that are completely different than the Negan you're used to, that are great. Uh, every single cast member has had different types of things to do and I think they've been waiting to flip a switch and kind of twist their their mojo in a different direction. And I think it's happening this year. Nice. So, uh, I, I mean, our crew is like super excited and they're out there 18, yeah. 18 hours a day yeah. in the hot sun, and they're super jazzed. It's, it's, it's a different show. You're going to love this season. Um, I know we come here every year and we say the show's better than it was last year. It's totally true this year, though. But it's true this time. <laughs> this time. I mean, last year we were lying. You, yeah, you know that? But... <laughs> no. yeah, it's, it's true. I mean, I mean uh, it, it, it's a Western, but we're shooting a, a Western. It, yeah. It's I think, think, the same thing for I think the, the big for, news, I yeah. think what you might have been referring to is the fact that we're going to be losing Andy. Yeah. Um, and that is, it's a, it's, that's a huge thing. And, and obviously this show is, is, we feel that. That being said, I think, uh, I think where the show has gone storytelling-wise yeah. is stronger than ever. I mean, yeah. even a Andy's like, this is the best season we've had since I shot the pilot. You know, that kind of yeah. feel. It just has a different feel. It's a new world. Um, yeah, he's, he, you know, 
He's he's only leaving because he's got family that are. He's got two little kids in England, yeah. and Georgia's far away from England. And he's been he's given it the show this much time, and he's dedicated, he, you know, blood, sweat, and tears to this show. Yeah, he wasn't doing other projects. He's been notorious about that. Like you he can't focused be all mad on at him. Yeah. You yeah. can't be mad I like at him. That you pointed you know? out that Georgia's far away from England. It's not that for far. those of you that didn't know. <laughs> Fun fact. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a minute, but uh, <laughs> but you know you you. you the show is, has adapted and changed in ways that that will work. Yeah. You know? do, you, do you feel like a pressure or an excitement to kind of like come to the fore even more than before? You know, there was, I got a lot of heat saying, oh, you're going to be the new leader. And there was a bogus story, a contract money story that hit the press right. that was a fake story. It wasn't even true. And bummer. I got a... I got it. It was way more. No, yeah. Like, but yeah. Such a no, but the you know the the thing is you know uh, you know and I got heat saying oh you, you're gonna be the new leader like no one's ever mentioned the word leader to me like it right. the show's adapted and no one would ever take Rick Grimes's place it's it's it, it's not possible yeah. and uh, but it, the show itself it, it characters are doing other things and moving forward it it works I'm yeah. telling you it works. Um, looking at this amazing, and it has been an ensemble, as much as it's been yeah. on Andy, it's been an amazing ensemble throughout. Um, if you had the opportunity to switch characters with another character or actor on the show for a day, a season, or what, just pie in the mm. sky, what would it be like? What would you I would have liked to have been Negan, but not right now. <laughs> um, uh, you mean sitting here or this season? Just in general. <laughs> um, Knowing that it's this guy. Yeah. I mean. um, uh, geez, who would be fun to play? Uh, Carol's doing cool stuff. Uh, Eugene's doing cool stuff. Uh, you know, God, everybody's doing cool stuff. Michonne's doing cool stuff. Yeah. Um, what about for you, Jeff? Or anyone come to mind? I, I would. Always, I've always said. You got, I think you asked me this two years ago. I want to be right. Daryl. I think Daryl has always <laughs> been my favorite character. I want the crossbow and the knives and and the, what he gets to do this year right. uh, and his. I got cool yeah, knives. Yeah, he's got cool yeah. knives and he's got a cool uh, new friend and I think it's a, it's going to be a, a different thing for him too. So I've seen some of the stuff like uh, that he's done this year and it, it, I'm telling you, there's some cool, it's cool stuff to look forward to. I'm excited for the fans to see it. But yeah, I'd like to do Daryl. I don't, although I don't think anybody can do Daryl like. Norman does Daryl. Actually, there, there's. I saw some scenes Jeffrey shot this year that you're gonna. Like you hated him one year. What? Who hated him? <laughs> what? You hit people in the head with a baseball bat, and we love those people. So like people hate you. Um, but he, you're you're gonna really think a different thing when you see Negan this year. Like it's it, like really, he finally started acting on the show. <laughs> He finally brought it this year. You know what? You know? It's time. I should try him. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God he stepped up to the plate. The you know what I mean? Um, but you always say that's interesting, like because you guys are so defined by these characters, and I'm, I, you know, I think sometimes, you know, you talk about typecasting, right? We talk about that a lot. For instance, I saw you in Rampage, and I think a lot of people went into that expecting. A certain thing, and I was so pleasantly surprised. Oh, thank you for seeing yeah. it. It was, <laughs> it was I fun. It. I, I love you in it. I really oh, did. Thank you. Thanks very much. Um, but do you guys notice that in kind of like how you're perceived day to day in public and also in the industry in terms of a, a lack of separation between you and these iconic characters? I think for sure. I think more so than anything I've certainly ever done in my life. I, I, I'd like to think, I mean, I know I have a, a, a large resume before Walking Dead, but I think it's hard for people to see past Negan at this point yeah. because it's such a kind of a pop culture phenomenon that, that is this show. And, and I, I, I'm pretty sure people think I walk down the street and do my backwards lean and might pop them with a baseball bat and want to hear me monologue. Right. And, uh, it only happens once or twice a week. It's yeah, not a yeah, day, I mean, daily Barely, thing. barely. Yeah. <laughs> what about for you, Norman? Do you find people I mean, have a lack of separation between you and the character? At this I mean, point? I, I've been with everybody in this cast out publicly, and nobody knows any of our names. No. <laughs> They call Andy Rick. <laughs> they see Denai. They're like Michonne, you know, and Daryl. You know, they, uh, I don't think anybody knows who we are. I'm gonna try to keep it that way. <laughs> Might as well just change your name officially. Just I, like no, I just you know when the you know when it when it goes, I'm just I'll just float off into the ether. <laughs> no. Learn to surf. Yeah. 
Uh, I feel like we talk every year about uh, Thomas Wayne and flashpoints. Yeah. Uh, should we keep talking about this? I mean, can, I, I we, mean, can we will this into the universe? I mean, I'll, I'll keep talking about it just because it's really fun to talk about. And I really would like um, Warner Brothers to um, open their ears <laughs> a little bit. I mean, is there, um, is there anything to reality about it? Have you talked to them? Um, it? It, when Zack Snyder was involved in the DC right. world more, I think that there was a real possibility. Um, but now that he's kind of stepped away a little bit, I, I've heard different things that f the Flashpoint might not be going in that direction. It'll be more of an origin story for Flash. Right. Um, but look, I'm, I'm always here and yeah. would love to do it. <laughs> have you met uh, Ezra Miller? Have you ever? No, I haven't. I haven't. No. He's a big personality in a great way. I hear, awesome. yeah, I've he's, seen he's some of his best. interviews yeah. and he's a hoot. Um, he's he seems like a cool guy. Totally. And you know, it's got. You're the uh, only guy that knows that uses the word hoot. I heard you say it all weekend. I that's love it. That's what all the kids say, hoot. I mean, that's 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 he keeps saying it. That's, like, not, that's not yeah. catching yeah. on? Yeah. <laughs> you said it all day yesterday, too. I was like, hoot? Oh, that's that's like, I'm having a hoot of a time. <laughs> 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 um, it's always a pleasure to have you guys yeah. here. Oh, thank you. I hope you come back. I have a feeling you won't. But no, I you totally <laughs> will. Are you kidding me? Anytime. Uh, this is our interview of the uh, weekend.